Hi everyone, it's Brian Christopher from Banyan Hill here. Welcome to another edition of Market Insights. This week I'm talking with Ian King, editor of Banyan Hill's Automatic Fortunes and Crypto Profit Trader. Ian, welcome, how are you? I'm great, Brian, nice to see you, how's it going? Oh, it's going, it's going great. For the next few minutes, you and I are gonna talk about the Hypernet. We wanna give the viewers some background on it, and I think you guys will find this interesting because it's an important part of where we're headed technologically. Before Ian and I chat, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button below. Then click on the image of a bell to receive an alert whenever we post something. Ian, in one of your articles, you quoted a number from Gartner Research that 64 billion devices will be connected to the internet by 2025. I found that significant since there's only 7.7 .7 billion people on the earth. And um, I've also seen numbers that there's a few more than 5 billion smartphones out there. Uh, given those numbers, uh, which, are, which are much less than the 64 billion anticipated, could you tell me how big you think this market could be? Yeah, you know, it's pretty remarkable. It, the hypernet is only about a $12 billion market right now, but our research suggests that that market could be doubling every year for the next five years. And this could be a $400 billion market by 2024. Um, so that's why we're encouraging investors really to learn what this technology is and to figure out how they can invest in it because of the extreme growth we're gonna see over the next couple of years. Now, we haven't really talked about what exactly the, the, the technology is. So I wanna get into that right now. You know, what the hypernet is, is a way to communicate over light waves. And it's also known as Li-Fi. You have Wi-Fi and Li-Fi. Now, traditionally in the 4G and 5G networks that we hear of today, this comes across as a radio frequency. But the way that Li-Fi or Hypernet is transferred is through light waves, through LED bulbs. Now, Brian, you probably have LED bulbs in your house, correct? I do. And when you look at one of those LED bulbs, you just see light, right? That's right. So if you were to take a slow motion video of an LED bulb, you would see that it's flickering at a pace faster than the human eye can recognize. Now, this technology takes that flickering and turns it into a sort of Morse code signal. So it flickers it at a rate that it actually is sending some type of information using just the on and off of how fast the light is trickering. And so it allows you to use an LED bulb to send information across space and time. Now, you might also be asking, where can we use this technology? Exactly. Well, I got a great example for you. I was boarding a cross-country flight a couple weeks ago, and I was watching my beloved New York Yankees play the Houston Astros, and I was boarding the flight in the ninth inning, and the LeMahieu had just hit a home run as we were getting on the flight, and I was so excited because we were going to extra innings. And right when the Astros came up to bat was the time when the captain tells everyone on the plane, please turn off your cellular devices. And so, of course, the Wi-Fi didn't work on the flight home, oh. and I, got, I missed the rest of the game. Now, if you had Li-Fi or Hypernet on the plane, you would have been able to communicate with the overhead light. And I think that's one scenario where the Hypernet will be advantageous in the future. Uh, so... I see that as being a, a way that I can actually finish watching my baseball games on the flight and not have to wait for five hours to find the results. And, and you're also, it sounds like, inferring that the applications of this technology are al almost limitless. I mean, we're, we're, right. we're, anywhere we're, you can install an LED light bulb is where you can have the internet signal. Now, one of the problems we're gonna find with the 5G network is like 4G, it's gonna get congested right? We're going to have so many of these devices. We're adding something like 30 million devices a month right now uh, to wireless and Wi-Fi connections that eventually you're going to need more room. And the hypernet is one of those ways that you can free up space for all this communication. Another issue is if you've ever been in, let's say, a department store and you're in the back away from the door, you might not have cell phone signal back there. But if the department store, and I know Target and Walmart are already looking at this, installs 
Li-Fi or Hypernet, uh, you can communicate and access the internet right on your phone anywhere in the store where that radio signal can't reach. So I think it's a big solution uh, for places where we can't get 4G and 5G currently. Wow. So this is obviously a big deal and uh, we're early on. Uh, do you have a recommendation as to what viewers should do now to benefit from this? Well, you can subscribe to Automatic Fortunes and you can also subscribe to Total Wealth Insider. I know Jeff Yastin is really big on the hypernet and has recommended a very similar company in the space as well. That's right. That's right. You guys, you guys are at the uh, initial stages and I think you're going to help people make a lot of money. So we, we, we're going to, we're going to end it there, but as always, thanks for your insights, Ian. Oh, nice to see you, Brian. And thanks to all of you guys for joining us on Market Insights. If you want to learn more about Ian's services, I recommend you start at the banyanhill.com. Again, the uh, name of the publication is Automatic Fortunes. His ideas can help you get in front of these trends and make you a lot of money. So thank you all for joining us on the Saturday Market Insights. We'll have a brand new edition of Market Insights next week. So be sure to tune in for that as well. Ian, thanks again. Thank you. On behalf of Ian, Jeff Yastine, Mike Carr, Ted Bauman, and everybody else at Sovereign Investor Daily, thanks for watching.